What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. It's been a while. I put two videos up that were like sit down videos in between this vlog and my last vlog. So that was not really typical, but this year, especially like the beginning of this year, I want to continue focusing on other videos, my finance videos, any type of like advice videos, even just Q and A's and sit down stuff. I almost feel like I connect with you guys more in those types of videos cause it's just super like, like we're on FaceTime or something. I don't know, I just feel like it's very personal. Not that the vlogs are not. I feel like just because my YouTube channel started with these like sit down videos and I never started as a vlogger, it just feels like my OG, like that's how I have always like done it and connected with you guys. So feel free to let me know if you guys enjoyed those videos. I feel like I got a pretty positive response to you guys saying you wanted more stuff like that. I'm definitely going to try to keep that stuff coming and also keep the vlogs coming because I love the vlogs. I, I love a good vlog. I like to switch it up. It's Wednesday late afternoon. I knew I was going to start this vlog today, but I was also like today's been kind of not necessarily busy like in the sense it has been busy but not in the sense of like going out and doing a bunch of stuff i've just been kind of getting the house ready um because we're having a dog sitter come over tomorrow and friday we're just going to salt lake on a little like i wouldn't even really call it a road trip but it is a road trip i mean we're driving there but we're only gonna go for like 36 hours and we're honestly going because i'm picking up some nightstands from facebook marketplace <laughs> i have been on the search for like upgrading nightstands for around a year now <laughs> and I have found some online that I like but I feel like it's so specific what I want um and I'll show you guys like the ones we end up picking up because we're going to do it in this vlog but it's very just specific what I want I feel like the colors of the wood are so specific like I've been able to find the style that I want online but the color of wood was completely different than what we have in our room which i guess you could buy something and like stay in the wood but honestly like i don't know how to do that and jared i don't know i just feel like it would be a bad idea so i was able to find some on facebook marketplace but literally not <laughs> within five hours so and we're gonna stay for a night and make like a little fun trip out of it i i'm excited but i wanted to start this vlog the day before so hopefully this will be like a little switch up from the normal vlogs at home. Today I've been prepping the house, like I said, cause um, we're gonna have our dog sitter stay here with the dog. So I'm just that type of person, like when anyone's coming over, I literally spent like the entire day cleaning. So not only I've been like setting up the guest room and the guest bathroom, but also just like vacuuming. And there's just, I feel like there's always just so much to do when someone's like, especially if someone's staying in your home, it's like, oh my God, like, why am I suddenly like noticing every little like stain things that are like not perfectly clean in my home? I'm having my little afternoon poppy. You guys know I love the orange flavor. I am so excited. They're about to release like a blue, I think it's called like a wild berry flavor and it's a blue can and I'm very excited to try it. I'm such a poppy stan. Like if you're a poppy girl out there, comment down below. Just a blessing. What a blessing this brand has been. I'm just about to finish making up the guest room bed and then I want to start packing. I'm listening to, I've been listening to so many podcasts lately. I, I feel like I've been in this, I just have no music to listen to. Like is anyone else? I feel like for years I've been saying this literally for like, I'm not kidding four years. I feel like I haven't had music to listen to. I just feel like there hasn't been much new music released since 2020. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it, but that's truly how I feel. So if you have any like artists or particular albums that you think I might like, honestly, please comment them down below. Like any artists you think I might like, I really like a lot of different music. So with that being said, I've like exclusively been listening to podcasts. I listen to like multiple podcasts every day. So I was currently listening to the newest episode of Ride. I have like a top three podcast right now, Girls Gotta Eat. Um, well said with Sid is one of my new favorite podcasts and then Ride is also my new favorite podcast. I feel like I told you guys that in Vlogmas, but I'm listening to this and we're going to finish getting the house ready and at least this is inspiring me. Having someone at your house, at least it inspires you to like 
get your shit together. So that's good at least. Okay, I don't think the light is great right now. The sun just kind of set, but I wanted to show y'all what I'm packing really quick. It, again, it's literally like 36 hours, so this is pretty minimal. I'm packing a swimsuit because the Airbnb we're staying at does have a hot tub. I honestly don't know if we'll have time to use it, but it would be a perk if we happen to have time. We're packing a swimsuit, my pajamas, Obviously, I only only need one pajama set. This is gonna be my car outfit. This little white sweater, and I always like to just be super comfy on road trips or even just on travel days in general. So I'll usually wear like leggings, or these are some airy crossover flare leggings that I love so much. Tomorrow night we're gonna go to a Utah Jazz game. Um, which was super last minute. We just bought the tickets last night and they are only like 15 bucks a piece, which I'm like, how is an NBA game $15? But Jared and I thought that would be like fun little date night thing to do. So I tried to look up their colors and, um, it was very confusing because they did a color rebrand a few years ago. So basically it was like four different colors. So I just don't think it matters too much. I'm going casual. I'm gonna wear these jeans, which are from the brand Hargan Denim. Love these, these are fun. And then I'm just gonna keep it simple with this white fluffy sweater from my newly box this month. And I'm gonna bring these boots. These are from Sam Edelman. I'm gonna just bring these and a pair of Uggs. That's definitely more than enough. And then on Friday, we're gonna do a little trip to Park City, which I love Park City so much. It's only like 40 minutes out of Salt Lake, so we're gonna go there and do a little, little bit of shopping and probably get like a drink and get lunch before we honestly just drive home on Friday. This is how short the trip is, you guys. It's, we're literally probably gonna have less than 20, yeah, we'll have less than 24 hours like actually in. <laughs> in Salt Lake, it might not even be 36 hours. Anyway, this is gonna be my Friday fit, I think. Long sleeve top, it's from um, Aritzia. God, I wish there was an Aritzia in Salt Lake. I thought that there was. I would love to go to Aritzia, but they don't have one. So I'm just gonna try and go to Abercrombie because I do wanna like look for a couple jeans and stuff like that. Anyway, and then these pants, which came in my newly box this month too. I love these. So comfortable. They're like flattering and high-waisted, but also like very comfortable and don't feel tight. So they're from the brand Rolas, but just wait, just wait. Obviously, I, this doesn't match with the green pants at all right now, so I probably won't try it on, but the cutest thing that I'm renting in my newly this month I mean, it's literally insane. I'll put in a photo of me wearing this the other night. I wore it on a date night. And so this is gonna be like the main piece for Friday. And that's it, you guys. I'm gonna have my socks and undies and I just need to pack my makeup. That's all we're packing. So I'm about to shove this stuff in the suitcase, although there's literally no point in putting this in my suitcase because it'll take up the entire thing. So I'm just gonna put this straight in the car. Also, I, I think, and I don't know this for sure, but trains are, better for the planet, it's like more of like a carpool situation. Thursday. It's around like 9.30. We are about to head out in just a few minutes to start our road trip. It's a very gloomy, cloudy day here, so hopefully it will be a little nicer in Salt Lake. We'll see. Um, not that we're really going to be there for that long, but last night I ended up talking to my friend Layla on the phone after I packed and just catching up. We kind of had that planned, so did that and then just hit the hay. We did get confirmation on the nightstands that they are ready, which is so exciting. And the guy said we could really pick them up like any time today. And I realized once he sent his address, cause I actually didn't have it yet, um, that it's like kind of actually an hour north of Salt Lake, which works out because we're coming from, we're coming from Northwest. Yeah. So we'll go pick those up first. I confirmed that with him and then we'll just like keep going down from there. It's gonna be a good day. I probably won't film much in the car. It's not gonna be very exciting. I will tell you guys the drive from Boise to Salt Lake is like very 
not it's so flat it is not scenic at all but actual salt lake and actual boise are really beautiful it's just like the in-between that is truly so random like literally napoleon dynamite vibes napoleon dynamite the movie was filmed in preston idaho which is like pretty close to where we'll be like going driving by today those are literally the vibes okay bye mister are you gonna be good i know you'll be good boy we'll miss you love you so much we've got the super casual fit on today i don't even have my shoes on yet but i'm so cozy i had time to do my hair and do like extremely minimal makeup so i'm feeling good about that hi you guys we are almost at our first destination we're gonna stop by in and out on the way to pick up the nightstands because there's one pretty close by and the guy um i had originally told him like you know like three o'clock 2 45 and i feel like i keep asking him if it can be earlier and i feel bad so he's been super like um what's the word like flexible and everything which is great but we just thought we would like you know give it like 45 minutes or an hour have some food and then we'll go pick them up after that and be on our merry way but it's been a really chill drive we listened to two of like the office office ladies podcast which i've actually i don't think i've ever listened to it before but it's with angela and what's her name that plays pam jenna fisher jenna why did i think it was kelly because there's a character Anyway, um, yeah, and Jennifer. Jenna. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, we listened to a couple episodes of that. We listened to a true crime, and that pretty much got us through these last like four hours. Now we're gonna go get ourselves some In and Out. Pretty excited. We did just get an In and Out, one single one in our area that we did go to once actually um, in December. But this is like the other closest place where we would like always get In and Out whenever we come here. So it's kind of tradition for coming to Utah. It's just a fun little treat and the line won't be as busy because the one we have right now has been crazy since it opened, like super long. It's really been a chill drive. Um, prettier, honestly, than I remembered. It's prettier when it is snowing to take this drive for sure. In a quarter mile, turn left on East 300 South. Wow, it is a miracle. I don't. I should have showed you guys before. We just picked this up from World Market. It's a little bigger than expected, but it fit. Thanks to Jared. And guys, the night stands are back there. Um, honestly, I won't be able to give you a better look at them until we're home because he wrapped them up, which was so nice because they totally would have scratched each, scratched each other if not. So I really like them. I'm super excited about getting them set up. And thank God we brought Jared's car because literally neither of these would have fit in my car. So We just got to our Airbnb. It's just a little quaint place for one night, so nothing crazy. It's just a little basement unit here. Here's the living room. Two TVs right next to each other, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't really understand that, but hey, two's better than one, I guess. And they have a pretty, pretty poppin' book selection. Look at all these bookshelves. Got a little mini kitchen, fridge, all the basic things, a little hot plate. You know, we won't even probably really need this stuff, but good to have. Our little bathroom. How y'all doing? And our bedroom. Got a king size bed at least. Looks really cozy. There she is. We had some time to settle in and they actually have a hot tub here. So we got to use the hot tub for like an hour. That was really nice, honestly, before the sun set. So that was just lovely and got ready and we're headed off to the basketball game. I'm excited. We're gonna go see the Utah Jazz play the 76ers, which Y'all know I know nothing about basketball or sports, but I actually do like basketball. I feel like if I was going to go see a sport, basketball is kind of... Basketball and hockey, I feel like, are my faves. We're very casual tonight. I have this sweater from my newly. It's from Free People. I honestly spilled makeup on it, and I was really annoyed. Because, like, how do I... I don't know. How do I do this? I just have these baggy jeans on. I showed you guys my outfit yesterday, but... Yes, and then I will wear my puffy jacket because it's... I think it's drizzling out a bit, but I'm not going to bring my camera, but you know, I'll film a couple clips on my phone, but yeah, I'm excited. Good morning, guys. I'm just on my phone 
Um, I kind of think I forgot to film anything at the basketball game, but we were so far up that, you know, what would I filmed anyway, honestly, but it was really fun. It was a really good game. They were tied up for a good amount of it. It was a really close score and then they did end up losing, but it was still a really good game. And now we are going to Park City for the day, but we're first stopping at a thrift store along the way. Guys, I feel like I'm literally hitting the jackpot. I've been through only this section of sweaters and I already found three that I am obsessed with. Like, truly doing so well. They're all, they're all beige, no surprise there. But this is a great, a great selection. Wow, that savers was excellent. I only really looked at because it was massive. I only really looked at the sweaters and like the women's long sleeve tops. I didn't look at anything else. And I had to limit what I wanted. I was like, I had a couple of other things in my cart. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get the three. I think I already showed these to you guys when I was in there, but just to get, give you a little car haul. I found this French Connection sweater that literally looks like it's, it actually looks like it's never been worn or washed. 1249. I actually only found sweaters, so, and they're all beige. <laughs> this one is a little checkered sweater. Just thought it was really cute and would go with a lot. This is from the brand Newberry Custom. Never heard of it. This was $8.49. I thought everything was 50% off because they had these signs above all the sweaters. I was like, 50% off, but then it was just the yellow tags. And of course I didn't pick anything that was a yellow tag, you know? I didn't even see any yellow tags, honestly. All mine were blue. Um, I found this, this Abercrombie and Fitch sweater. It's a little bit of like a tighter, oh my gosh, this also seems like it's maybe been worn once. Great quality, we'll go with everything, $12.49. And speaking of Abercrombie and Fitch, we're headed to Abercrombie um, at the Park City Outlets, which is a great, a great outlet mall. If you're, if you're ever in Salt Lake, I didn't know that Park City was only like 40 minutes away. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't know that. I thought it was like in a completely other area of Utah, but we've been there before. They have a Lake Crusette outlet. Today we're just gonna do probably the Abercrombie store because I really wanna try on some jeans. I don't know how their selection will be, but I've been wanting to get some Abercrombie jeans. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go to like actual Park City just to like grab some lunch before we head out today. It was a good little surprise trip to Savers. I'm glad we went there. Look at this, it's look at these rainy, views today. Rainy day. Wow, yeah, it's a rainy, rainy day. It's supposed to be snowing in Park City though, so we'll see. That would be better than this because at least we won't get like wet. You know what Americans love, babe? Outlets. An outlet mall, and this is a great one. If you're ever in the area. I mean, there's a coach. Coach is literally back, ladies. Jersey, Jersey Mike's. You're jo you're joking. Bath and Body Works. I would literally go. Jersey I would literally go there. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go anywhere. I don't care. Oh my God, Bath and Body Works. They're gonna have to kick my ass out. And don't forget about the Abercrombie and the stop. I literally might go to Coach. Pop in. I don't know. Jared just said that these people come with a, a gun and they come collect the money from the stores. Is he fucking with me? Anyway, we're here. dreams are coming true comment down below if you like jersey mics i've literally never tried it and that experience in there was just incredible i mean first of all this weighs like eight pounds they cut the meat and cheese for each sandwich we just munched this thing so hard and we only ate half of it because we got the giant the giant size to split and it was incredible i'm a new jersey mic stan so please Comment down below your favorite Jersey Mike's order slash any tips and tricks. I saw that they were hiding the green bell peppers. It wasn't in the main area. So I'm like, maybe you have to ask for extra toppings and stuff. We're headed to my favorite place ever in Park City. We're at my favorite. 
favorite, prettiest hotel to get a drink before we head out of town. Have you guys ever been to a funicular? You're gonna see what it is. Any guesses? Here it is, you guys, the funicular. You take this gondola cart up to their like restaurant and bar up here. This is a resort, so there's people skiing. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so like it's kind of hard to see, but people are skiing. There's a little ski lift over here. People are still getting after it. Here it comes to pick us up. <laughs> We're the only ones in the funicular. <laughs> Funiculars. <laughs> Got the funicular to us, so that's kind of fun. It's really a scenic ride. If you're not afraid of heights, I highly recommend coming up here. You can literally ride this for free, and you can just come up and get any sort of a drink. They do free valet if you just get any sort of like a drink and get your ticket validated. I mean, honestly, it's an experience of a lifetime. This is my third time coming. This is my happy place. to show you guys my gas station order this isn't always sometimes i get like doritos whatever this was just what i chose today i honestly love these cheap crackers from the gas station i usually get a fun drink today i got a blue gatorade sometimes i get a coffee drink if i need a little boost sometimes a calypso lemonade and then these were random i kind of wanted to get an ice cream even though it's freezing but i got the chocolate mini donuts that are absolutely horrible for you but it's a gas station snack haul okay we went to the fast stop with the a and w we're about to cross over the border to get back into idaho and my man's driving me the whole way hi you guys it is sunday now so we got back from salt lake on friday evening i filmed a bit that day and then we were just in the car for the rest of the day got back and yesterday i woke up feeling horrible i felt like i had been hit with something literally i felt like fevery and definitely like either a cold or like something more serious um today i will say i'm feeling a lot better i'm definitely still sniffly i blew my nose a ton yesterday um, and I did feel fevery for a bit and then I started kind of feeling a little better towards the end of the day So I don't really know what happened. I don't know if anyone else ever gets like this, but I get these like one day Colds a lot where it's mostly just blowing my nose and a lot of congestion for like the entire day and a lot of times it is like so much better the next day and I a lot of times I think like oh my gosh I'm gonna get sick or like what what do I have you know just kind of overthinking as I do and like I said sometimes I feel so much better the next day I'm like what was that like that a cold cannot last you know less than 24 hours so what was that I, I really don't know but hey I'm feeling a lot better today so I'm very happy about that so I didn't vlog yesterday I just wasn't really feeling up to it today I wanted to get back to it I wanted to show you guys the night sands finally <laughs> like I've been talking about it this whole vlog I feel like I wanted to get them set up in our bedroom which I'm really excited about so I want to take the old ones out with you guys and like vacuum and like style and figure out what I'm gonna put on the new night stands and just first of all just see how they look in there they're definitely a good amount bigger than the ones we have right now i'll probably end up listing the old ones on facebook marketplace and i actually have a couple other things that i want to list on marketplace soon because i want to make a few there's like a total mess behind me but i want to make a few updates actually to this room the office room which i'll talk about maybe in a future vlog like and show you guys i'm not exactly sure all that i want to do yet but I think I want to update it to be more like mature and it feels very like young which I feel like I liked when I did it but it feels like very chaotic to me sorry this is a whole <laughs> I'm going on a tangent so let's get these nightstands set up and then I do want to show you guys a haul of the rest of the stuff that I got in Salt Lake which isn't much so I'm so excited I can't wait any longer let's show you all these nightstands they're just sitting in the hall right now so I'll show you them as best as I can in the hallway and then you'll be able to like really see them once we get 
into the bedroom and get them all set up. Okay, here they are. We unwrapped these and we've been kind of letting them actually like air out because you could still smell the, smell the stain on them a little bit. So I'm glad I let these air out for like almost two days. I have to get at a really weird angle above this table right now, but they're so beautiful. Perfect color. He customized the color for me based off of what we have in our bedroom right now. Hi. It's showing a little more yellow in person right now, but these were custom made. I don't know if I said that. I didn't just go pick up like some random nightstands. I had them like custom ordered based off of what this guy um, in Utah posted on Marketplace that he does. He has his own like woodworking business and I just fell in love with like the photos he posted of these nightstands. They were really similar to this. I think the wood was Douglas fir, but I can't remember. But guys, these are like straight up made out of, you know, a tree. <laughs> They're very like sturdy and just really nicely made. They have a shelf, which is something I really wanted. Squirtle is interested. But the biggest thing I was looking for was two drawers and I wanted a shelf. I really feel like nightstands for me, I need to have storage. I need to be able to like put stuff away, but also having this for like a book that I'm reading or my laptop just to really easily like slide it in there from bed i feel like it's so nice and you get you know obviously the space on top which is bigger than we currently have i just feel like this is really what i wanted in a nightstand i really want these to last like so many years and i've never invested in good nightstands before ever like the ones we have right now are so cheaply made <laughs> it is crazy i decided on gold hardware just because that's like what we already have but look how nice these drawers are they're just so nice. So um, I love really, oh, he put, look, he even put some of these in here, some little furniture pads. Like this man truly thought of everything. All right, let's get these in the bedroom. Okay, let's get these old nightstands out of here. These are our old nightstands. I'm not gonna do a whole, a whole like up close, but basically let's just say the reason I have this Squishmallow placed here is because my drawers don't actually stay shut. Jared's is in better condition. I don't know how. <laughs> I feel like he just hasn't had as much wear on his, but his drawers stay closed and everything. This is really doing it for me right now. <laughs> I am so pleasantly surprised. I put Jared's side in first and I am loving it. It was kind of hard to drag this in myself as you saw. Well, not drag it, but like just pushing it. I didn't want to pick it up. It's pretty heavy, honestly. Um, but we got it in here. It looks so, so good. I don't even feel like it's too big for the space. I feel like it really, really works. Oh my gosh, which makes me so happy. That was like the biggest thing. And I feel like it goes so good with the color of our bed. Like our bed frame is kind of, we have everything like different colors in here. Like our bed frame is, I feel like a very similar color to this, which was important. But then our actual bed, cause we didn't buy any of this together. Our actual bed is pretty dark, but it's just like the bottom frame here. Like this and this are completely separate pieces. And I'm sorry, this is so, just in the moment right now. <laughs> um, but this is a similar color, but it has the gold accents, which I wanted to play on. So everything's just different in here, but I feel like it really did work. Okay, let's put the stuff back on this thing and get mine set up over there. Mine is so much messier than Jared's. I always have so much stuff on my nightstand.
happy. What an upgrade I feel like we had in here. I think I'll end up styling my nightstand a little better. Right now I literally just have like a box of tissues, which I do usually keep that on my nightstand. So I'm glad I could fit it on the shelf instead of the top now, but maybe I can decorate with like a little coffee table book or something down there. Okay, I put a candle up here. I took the humidifier off because I don't, I feel like I don't usually sleep with it on so it doesn't need to be taking up space here. We can keep it more minimal because I'll put, you know, like my phone here and my water bottles. I really do feel like they fit the space so nicely. I don't feel like it's too big. There's still a perfect amount of room for us to access our plugs. I haven't organized my drawers yet. I took everything out, but I want to like go through some of the stuff I had. It's the little things, you guys. I have been wanting to upgrade these nightstands. I think I told you guys for about a year now, and I'm really happy I got to support just a guy doing a small business. He was really, he was really sweet. This was definitely a fun project to put together this weekend and I think they look even better in person all set up. I have been sitting here editing for, I lost track of time, but probably like an hour and 45. I think I'm about to take a break to check on dinner, but the vlog be vlogging. We're 19 minutes into the vlog in editing so far. Tonight we got a crock pot meal going. I just wanted something really easy because I didn't have really much time for cooking today. So this is honey sesame chicken. It's like kind of like a teriyaki chicken in the slow cooker and it's finishing up. Honestly, the sauce got a little like burnt around the edges. It said to do low for three hours and it's been on low for a little over two. I feel like it really doesn't need much longer, but I want to add some bell peppers to give it a little veg and then I'm gonna make some rice. We don't really have like many veggies right now, but we do have these mini sweet bell peppers and they're kind of on their last leg. Like they're not, even when I bought them, which was like a week ago, they weren't looking so good. Um, so I wanna wash these and use up as many of these as I can chopped up in this and serve it over some rice. So I'm gonna chop some of these. And I think we'll just throw them in the pot because there's a good amount of that sauce. So I'm like, we can get them in the sauce and then serve like the whole thing scooped over rice. My friend Devin got me this cute little like ceramic um, colander drainer and it's so pretty and I love it for like little things. Like I'll use it for mac and cheese. I'll use it for like washing veggies and fruit. So shout out to her for a fabulous gift because it's so cute, and I use it all the time. I've actually been meaning to show you guys this setup of how I have my new record player that I got for Christmas. I have been, oh my gosh, I literally use it pretty much every day. I listen to a record whenever I'm cooking. So I started this one earlier. This is one of my favorite. My favorite OG albums, if you know Wild Child. I listened to the first half of this earlier when I was prepping the chicken. cooked up some rice in the instant pot and I just added some dried herbs and some seasonings. Then we have our chicken, which I did end up turning down and the veggies got a little cooked in there and it looks really, really yummy. So we're just gonna make some rice bowls and top with sesame seeds and then I have some green onions as well. Step one, fill your bowl with some rice. Step two, get some delicious chicken, veggies, and sauce. Yum. Step three, green onions, optional. Looks so good though. And that's on presentation, y'all. Came together so beautifully. As promised, I wanted to give you guys a little try on haul. I did end up going to Abercrombie in Park City, as you guys saw. I've been wanting to go to Abercrombie forever. We don't have one in Boise, we don't have one in the state of Idaho. I didn't know what size I was in their jeans and I've been really wanting to get some of their jeans, so I've kind of been waiting 
that out for a while until I could go and like try them on at a store in person. I also wanted to mix in the pieces that I got from the thrift store. It worked out that I got three tops and then I went to Abrahamie and I got three bottoms. We have this thrifted sweater. It seriously, I was telling you guys, I don't think anyone's ever worn it. It feels brand new. I tucked it in right here and then it does like, you could wear it longer. And these jeans, they're like, you know, an ivory denim from Abercrombie and I feel like they fit so perfectly. I'm just wearing slippers right now, but I would probably wear, I don't know, tennis shoes, booties, Uggs. <laughs> I'll just tell you guys my sizes in case any of you guys are like really similar to me. These I ended up getting in a 27, but the other pants are a 28. So I was in between those sizes. Fit number two is very comfy. Um, I mixed a little bit of patterns for this one, but these pants are a nice, like, they feel linen-y, but they're probably not linen, either linen or cotton. They feel like cotton, actually. They're a nice high-waisted, like, flowy pant with pockets. Yeah, I did get a small in these. I'm glad I tried them on because I usually am a medium. So freaking comfortable and legitimately will match with everything. And then the sweater, I just kind of tucked it in for now, but you could wear it out. I feel like that's cute too. What do you guys usually like to do for, for the tuck? Y'all know I'm sucker for a checker print. I'm a basic bitch. I am so comfortable right now. Like I could wear this truly every day. I'll check on the Abercrombie website if I can find links to the jeans and the pants that I got because I'm not sure. So I will link them down below if they are the ones I got. All right, lastly, these jeans, which I feel like these are my favorite that I got. I just looked at them again in the mirror and I just feel like they fit so nicely and they're comfortable. I love this wash of jeans. I'm kind of like a light wash jeans girl, light to medium. I, I don't know why, I don't love a dark wash on, on me personally. These are the Curve Love Jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch, which I also have realized the ones I tried on first for you guys, the tan ones are also Curve Love. I think that's why they fit me well because I do have a bigger butt and bigger hips just compared to like how normal jeans fit. So if you have a similar body shape or are curvier than me I feel like checking those out they have like just one little rip I kind of wish they didn't have any rips but I couldn't find any jeans that didn't have any rips at the store in my size but it's nice now that I know this is my size you know if I want to order more online down the line if I really am liking these jeans I can do that they fit so nice on the butt I tucked in the sweater but let me untuck it to just show you all the fit a little more like they do have a little bit of room, which I think is good. The sweater is also Abercrombie & Fitch, but I thrifted it, <laughs> so it wasn't from the actual store, but it's so warm and cozy, and it's just a nice basic piece. I haven't really been in-person shopping in forever, so I wanted to do that when I was in Salt Lake. They have better shopping than we have here in Boise, so I've been kind of like saving up and budgeting to be able to get um, specifically jeans, but I'm glad we went to the thrift store too. That was kind of like a fun little surprise okay guys i think i'm gonna end off this vlog here um it's a little shorter than my usual vlogs but i kind of want to play with that a little more this year some will be like an hour some maybe more like 25 30 minutes so like i said at the beginning of this video we're switching it up i hope you guys enjoyed this i feel like it was a fun little switch up from my normal vlogs i forgot to show you guys this stuff but let me put in a little b-roll of that painting i picked up it was only 60 bucks at world market um but they didn't have it online and they didn't have it at my store here so i felt like it was a sign that they had it at the one um on the way to salt lake and then this rug i also got from world market recently and that is going to replace the rug that's currently in here i was telling you guys i want to do some upgrades. So I'll share more of that in future vlogs for sure. Any updates to here. It's gonna be a slow process. We're not doing any crazy, any crazy stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it until the end of this vlog, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to tell me you made it until the end. I would love to chat with you down below. Um, check out my TikTok. I'm posting more over there. I'll list it on the screen. I'm trying to do more short form stuff and I post most of my TikToks over on Instagram as long as they're under 90 seconds. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.